welcome back to my channel. This is Erica from Confessions of a Homeschooler and I have some new sewing tutorials for you today. I made this cute little project tote bag. This is a great size. It's got a ginormous boxy bottom on the bottom, perfect for a larger um, crafting project like a shawl or uh, maybe even a sweater. And then I also made this super cute tiny version of that, perfect for smaller projects like hats and socks. I also did this modification by putting the button strap on the side here so it's kind of more like a little purse. Keeps all of your goodies nice and secure inside. This is a super easy project, takes under an hour to make. Let's go ahead and get started. Supplies for this project are super simple. You'll need some interfacing and this is just Pellon 40 which is a medium weight craft interfacing. You could also use quilt batting here if you'd like. You'll need some canvas for the outside of your bag. You'll need some canvas or fabric for the lining, some fabric for the pockets, and then I am going to be using this leather strapping. I got this from our local craft store. This one is half inch leather strapping. This one is 3 seconds inch. You can use um, ribbon or really anything that you want for this part. I'm just gonna use leather because I think it looks nice. You'll also need a button, and then regular sewing supplies, rotary trimmer, ruler, some pins are helpful, and a self-healing cutting mat. I think that's it. Um, there will be instructions for exact cutting measurements in the PDF description right below this video. I'll also have links to all the project or products that I'm using in this tutorial as well down there. So just click the show more link. It should be somewhere right underneath the video right here. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start off with our inside pockets to prepare those, and I'm just gonna do the same thing to both of our pieces here. And I'm just going to take our pocket piece and fold it in half, wrong sides together, so the pretty side is out on both. Make sure that you fold it in such a way that it is 14 inches wide by about 10 and a half inches tall. We're gonna take this over to the sewing machine and I'm just gonna run a stitch down this edge just to give it a finished edge. And I'm gonna do that to both of our pocket pieces. Okay, so here they are, easy enough. I'm not even sure if you can see that, but I did run a stitch just right along the top, and then I also pressed them just to kinda uh, finish off that crease right there. And now we are going to grab our lining pieces, and we're gonna do the same thing for both. So I'm just gonna set one aside here. So here's one of my lining pieces, and I'm just going to place one of my pockets on top of that lining piece, and I'm just lining up the sides in this bottom raw edge here. And then I'm just gonna throw a few pins on the edge just to hold it in place while I make my pockets. And you can really customize this. You can make your pockets any size you like. I want three pockets in here, and so I've just taken my width here, divided it by three. And it doesn't quite go evenly, but it is about six inches, so I'm gonna do six inches in, it's like 5.8 or something, so I'm gonna do six inches in from both sides. Over my ruler here, this is my six inch mark. There we go. And I'm gonna do a back stitch right here and then just sew both of these layers together all the way down. Again, a back stitch here, sew down, and I'm gonna repeat that with the other piece of the lining. Okay, so here are our two lining pieces, and as you can see, my pockets are sewn on. And I can't remember if I mentioned, but I just used one of these friction erasable pens to draw my lines. And then when you iron them, as you can see, the lines go away. So I've got this pocket and this pocket, um, and we are going to go ahead and take our lining pieces, fold them right sides together. Just be careful since these edges aren't um, sewn down yet that you get them in there straight. So we've got this lining piece, our sewn on pocket, our other sewn on pocket, and the lining piece. All right, and now we're going to take this, we're gonna sew all the way down this side and down the bottom to about here. Then we're gonna pick back up about here. Um, that's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I always just kind of guesstimate, guys. Five inches, and then sew down this side and back up the other side and leave the top open. And I am gonna throw in a couple of pins just because we have so many pockets here and I don't want them to get moving around on me. And I'm gonna sew this at about 3 8 of an inch. I am gonna backstitch right here at my stop and start. OK, 
Okay, so here we go. Our lining is finished for right now. We can just set this aside. So I am going to take my outer pieces and my interfacing. And if you have iron-on interfacing, you'll want to iron that on right now. I just have regular interfacing, so I'm just gonna lay it on there. And you're gonna put your interfacing on the wrong side of your fabric. So just make sure everything's lined up. And then you're gonna place that piece right side up. Okay, like that. Then you're going to take your other piece of outside fabric and place it right side down. Line everything up and then place the other piece of your interfacing on top of that. So essentially in your stack here, you've got interfacing, an outside piece right side up, an outside piece right side down, and then your other piece of interfacing. And we're gonna take this over to the machine and sew it down the side, across the bottom down here, and then all the way back up the other side. You don't have to leave a hole down here, but do leave the top of your bag open. And again, I'm just gonna throw a few pins in here just to keep all of these layers together. I'm also going to backstitch here at the stop and start and whatever seam allowance you did for the lining, do the same for the outside of the bag. So again, about 3 eighths of an inch. Okay, so here is the outside of our bag, and the next thing we're gonna do is box our bottoms, and if you have watched any of my videos, we're gonna do this the same exact way. And whatever size box bottom you do on your outside, you're gonna do the same on your lining piece. But you're gonna take your hands and stick them down in to the corners here, and then I always have to use my chin <laughs> to fold this guy in half, trying to do it on camera here. But fold it in half like this, so that you've got a little fortune cookie. So in half like this, and then kind of set it down and pull your hands out. And what you wanna be doing here is lining up these side seams so that those are nice and straight. Okay, so it should look something like this. We're gonna flop it open here. And it should be a nice straight diamond shape. You might have to fidget with it a little bit, but what you want is this seam and this seam lining up. And I can feel that mine are off a little bit. So I'm just gonna stick my hand in there and kind of straighten that seam out. And then we're gonna do a nice big boxed bottom on this one. Um, and so what I do is I take my diagonal line on my ruler here, hopefully you can see that, and line it up with the diagonal line on my fabric. And I'm going to go down and line up my seam point. Right here is my seam. I'm line that up with my four inch marker and I'll zoom in so you can see that better. Okay, so hopefully you can see a little better now, but I've got my diagonal 45 uh, degree line along the edge, and then I've got my four inch mark right here, and I'm just lining it up with the uh, seam line there. And then I'm just going to draw a line across, and my ruler wasn't quite long enough, so. Just keep going. And then I am gonna throw a couple pins or wonder clips in here just to make sure that these guys don't move around when I take them to my sewing machine. And then we're gonna fold down this side and do the exact same thing. And again, I made mine four inches, so it's a pretty decent boxed bottom on this one. Uh, if you want to do less, you're welcome to do whatever you want. And just so you know, just make sure Whatever you do on the outside of your bag, you do the same size on the lining piece. Okay, so here's my lining piece. Again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna stick my hands inside. Just make sure that when you put your hands in here, you're getting them in between the pockets. So you've got a pocket on this side and a pocket on that side. Um, you shouldn't be able to do it any other way because our pockets are stitched down, but just to make sure. And we are going to do the exact same thing here and just fold this guy in half and again, line up these side seams so they're all arranged. 
And this one can be a little bit finickier, finickier just because you've got your pocket in there and then you also have your opening to turn your bag. So just take your time with it. Um, the other thing is that these seams are a little bit bulkier because there's so much fabric here. So what I like to do to try and reduce a little bit of that bulk is push this seam this way and then push this seam this way and that way they'll kind of put some of the bulk on both sides of your seam so it's a little bit less bulky when you're sewing. And again, you can throw some wonder clips in here um, or some pins. I'm just using pins. If you're using canvas or something thicker, you may want to uh, use wonder clips. They might work just a little bit better. Okay, so here's our line. We're gonna take this over to the sewing machine. I'm gonna do a back stitch right here and sew directly on our line and then do a back stitch here. Then I'll flip that open. Again, do the same thing on this one and do the same thing on the outer piece. So now I'm just going to give myself about a half of an inch here and trim off the excess. And I'll do the same thing to the other piece. And we're going to do the same thing to the outside of the bag as well. All right, you guys, we are literally almost done with this bag. So easy. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is turn the outside of our bag right side out. And you can pop out that boxed corner there just with your finger. Lovely, it should be looking your bottom should be looking something like this. And just to make life a little bit easier, we can kind of just fold it down a little bit. Okay, so here's what our bag's kind of looking like. Now we're going to take our button, and you can actually save this part to last. I just didn't want to see my button tie on the inside of my lining. I'm gonna take our button, and we're gonna sew it onto one of the sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and just Kind of turn my bag like this. Here's my side seam. You're gonna to want to measure at least a half an inch down from the edge of your button just so that you don't hit it with your sewing machine when we sew our lining to our outside. And you're just gonna sew your button on and leave a little bit of space between the button and the fabric for our leather tie to strap around. I'm just gonna come in from the back side here and I'm just using some um, pearl cotton, it's nothing fancy. You can use any kind of thread you like. And just go back down, and I'm just gonna repeat that a couple of times, and then I'll tie it off in the back. And I apologize, I forgot to mention this in the supply list, but I just used this number eight um, Finca cotton. And you can really use any embroidery thread or anything you want. Um, this is just a little bit heavier, and so I only did a couple of rounds here so as you can see my button's not on there super tight um, so that I can wrap my uh, little leather strap around it so once that's done we can kind of put our bag back in position here and then we're going to take our skinny leather strapping and again there's cutting instructions on how long to make these in your um, pattern that's below we're going to put it right on this other side and I'm just going to use a wonder clip to hold it in place, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and place our handles on. And we want our handles about five inches apart. And we're going to put them right side down so that when we open up our bag, they're right side up, if that makes sense. 
We're gonna put them about five or so inches in from each edge. So I'm just gonna grab a wonder clip. Like I said, if you don't have leather straps or you don't want to use leather strapping, uh, you can just do um, ribbon or fabric, whatever you like. Again, we're gonna do five inches in from this side as well. Of course, you can position your handles anywhere you want. This is just what I'm doing. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and flip this over and add our other handles. And they should be about in the same spot as your ones on the back side. So I just kinda like to line those up so they look straight. And then also just make sure you don't twist your straps as well. Okay. All right, now we are going to take this whole bundle here and we're going to put it inside of our lining. Now our lining, if you remember, is still inside out here. And so we're just gonna open it up, making sure our pockets are on both sides and just carefully push all of this inside the lining. And when you're doing this, just make sure that your straps are down inside and that this little long piece is also down inside. We don't wanna catch that on our sewing machine. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this now. You've got your, line, your outside of your bag right side out, your lining inside out, and it's all kind of squished in there. And the next thing I'm gonna do is find one of my edges and I just line up this, this side seam with the lining side seam. And this one has my little leather strap in there, so I'm just making sure that I still get that in my clip. I'm gonna line up the opposite side seam as well and put a little clip there. Okay, and then once everything's nice and straightened out, I can add the lining to this clip, pull it nice and straight, add the lining to that clip. And we're just lining up the raw edges here. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna take this whole thing over to the sewing machine and we're gonna sew around this top edge all the way around with about a half an inch seam allowance. Fun part guys, we're going to go ahead and carefully pull our bag through the hole in our lining. Just be careful, we got some pieces in there. Gentle. There's our button. There's some straps popping out. Yay! Okay, so your project should essentially be looking like this now. And we just need to close this up and do a finishing seam and we'll be done, you guys. So here is our edge here. Just make sure you're getting all the layers. I'm gonna bring this over probably to my sewing machine or to my ironing board, I mean, and press those layers together about a quarter of an inch in. Like that. And then I'm just gonna take it over to my sewing machine and just run a stitch to close up this opening. Okay, last step. This hole is now closed and you can clip off these little threads. We're gonna tuck our lining down inside of our bag here. And we're going to take this over to the ironing board and just press this edge so it's just really nice and crisp on both sides. Um, you don't wanna see the lining on the outside and you don't wanna see the outside on the inside. Then I'm gonna take it to my sewing machine and just run a stitch right along this top edge just to seal it off. It helps hold the lining in place and just give your bag a more finished look and then we're done.
Okay, I'm gonna start right here by my button just to show you how I get around the button. And this is where I said if you feel more comfortable, you can just wait and sew your button on at the very end. But I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little back stitch here. And then my button isn't very tight, so I can lift it up, kind of scoot it through there, and just keep going. Or like I mentioned, you can sew your button on after you're all done. last thing you have to do is just fill your bag with some project goodies and you're ready to go. I like to take my strap, wrap it around my button a little bit, and voila. All right, guys, that is it for this project. As you can see, it was super easy. It's definitely customizable. You can make the pockets inside any size you want. One thing I will say with the smaller one is it can get really bulky with the amount of layers in here. So I'd suggest only doing a pocket on one side or possibly not even a pocket at all in this little one. But again, it's totally up to you. And then like I mentioned, you can also customize the button placement as well to make it a little bit more purse-like. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. That way I know to keep making fun tutorials like this for you. Thanks so much for joining me today and I will see you next time.